rummaging through some papers last week, I found a note scrawled in longhand describing a brother's Masonic journey. This account started with the mundane tale of a farmer who wanted to become a Freemason. This simple story was informally jotted down in 1952 as a recollection of events that took place long before, shortly after the turn of the century. I thought it was worth sharing with you. Here, somewhat paraphrased, is that farmer's Masonic tale. One day I was in the barn lot at home on the farm, discussing things with a cousin of my mother. I told him I was interested in masonry and hoped to become a mason someday. This was in November 1908. A short time after, I received an application for membership. I signed it and was elected for initiation, which happened on February 9, 1909. I studied faithfully and was given the third degree on March 9, 1909. Shortly after receiving the third degree, the grand lecturer came to town to hold a lodge of instruction. I attended all three days and then accompanied the brother to other towns for more instruction, becoming proficient in all three degrees. I was elected junior warden in 1910. In 1911, I sent a petition to the Grand Master asking for the establishment of a Masonic Lodge near my home. A lodge under dispensation was set up with myself as master, also under dispensation, in the spring of 1911. At the fall meeting of the Grand Lodge, the new lodge was granted a charter. I was elected master of the lodge. It was a very active organization and continued to grow. I became master a second time when the lodge was four years old and then secretary. World War I came along and I went to France. The lodge hall burned down, destroying all the records, but the lodge continued to grow. When I returned from overseas after World War I, I took an active interest in Masonic affairs in the whole country. When the district deputy died, I was appointed to replace him in 1924. I entered politics in 1922 and was elected to office again in 1926 after a defeat in 1924. In 1930, William R. Gentry was elected Grand Master of Masons of Missouri. He appointed me to the Grand Lodge line, and in 1940, I was elected Grand Master of Masons of the Grand Lodge of Missouri. In the study of the Masonic lectures and the reading of the biblical references, I was impressed with the moral code taught by the lectures and the Bible. I always tried to live and act by this moral code. Signed, Harry S. Truman, The White House, Washington, D.C., December 31, 1952. For the Whence Came You podcast, this is Steve Harrison with the Masonic Minute.